Um, like, oh. let, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. You 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 said when when things started to fall apart for you, you were getting engaged, or yeah. you had just got. I was engaged. engaged. Yeah, I was engaged. I was actually I was actually uh, I got I was just getting engaged. Yeah, but but that's when I heard about all this. We was on we actually was on a um on a trip to Paris. I took my wife to Paris, and that's when the show came out, and we started seeing these comments on on our uh, social medias and it's like you hit that girl uh, and we was me and toy looking at the comments like what is going so, on so uh, let me ask it, it was there ever a minute that toya herself doubted you uh no toya was toya was really like there the whole time she was like i just she like your personality just don't do that she she, she asked me before she used to ask me she's like did you ever really did you touch her for real i was like listen i never hit a girl in my life i was like now when she was hit you know it was a time when Kay, you know Kay was throwing them haymakers at me hitting me like i was seeing stars so i had to definitely had to restrain her and tell the people to call the police you know call the call somebody because this girl you're not about to knock me out in here so i'm like definitely i'm gonna hold you down like them punches is real like you know so it's like so that i held her down but to, to ever strike somebody strike a woman no nah, not not never ever she definitely but after that and she was like i i feel that and then she just was like uh she just rode with me she just rode with me it was things about her riding with me that she didn't want to go for it. It caused me even more. I feel like uh, strain, but it, it's okay. It is what it is. What, what do you mean? Just, when you um, say she with you, are you talking about Toya riding with you? Yeah, she just it, like when I was invited to come on to the show. Uh, Mona told me to come on to the show because it was a uh, you know she, they wanted me to talk about it and and conf- and go confront K Michelle and Toya. Just like you're not about to. We just got married. You're not about to go on no show. That's gonna embarrass me. Like now you're embarrassing me. Like now you on the show fighting with your ex-girlfriend i'm supposed to sit here and wait on you to come back from that like i was like no go with me she's she like what if what if they get her to swing on you or something or, or something happens you know what you, i was like you know me enough you know i ain't gonna do nothing i'm like won't you come and if she do that you you handle that she's like no nah, we're not gonna be a part of that that's trash and i was yep. like which i appreciate this is my wife at the time talking and she's like that's trash like we're not going on no trash show talking to your girlfriend your ex-girlfriend we just got married like we got other things going on leave that alone I can't really leave it alone because she's saying something about me that's kind of messing my name, like tarnishing my name out here. Like I can't really. She's like, no, leave it alone. Like just, just sue them. And I was like, sue them. I was like, this is sue them. That's that's pretty huge. That's Viacom. I, I work. I have a TV show on Viacom called The Deal. If you don't, if you remember that, and I was like, yep. I worked for them. I, MTV, all the music that I ever put out, everything that I do before I met you. I have to play. I have to, it has to go to Viacom so they can play my stuff on the video shows. Like I'm like they know me over there. I can't just sue the, these people. She's like, well, either you do that or, or but if you go on that show, this marriage is over. Like I'm I'm gonna leave the ring right here. You're done. I'm we're done. I can't do it. You're not gonna embarrass me like that. So I'm sitting here stuck between one, my ex saying all this stuff about me and I can't defend myself or my or or embarrass my wife. And I'm, I'm not married no more. So I was like in the middle of the ultimatum that I couldn't even I couldn't even move. So I was just like, bro, I don't see no way out of this. It was like checkmate. Was like the devil was checkmate on that ass. I was like, he's like, which way you gonna go? You can't go either way, nigga. I was like, <laughs> I was like nah. Yeah, but that, then all of a sudden, it, you know, time heals all. It's like I'm like, you know, I go through the oh. Still to this day, if I comment on something, people be like, "Oh, you, uh, is that the way you did, K. Michelle, or is that the way?" Oh, oh you. Then I then I go on. Uh, what is it? Marriage boot camp. Me and told you going marriage boot camp. But, like, but didn't you didn't you eventually either bring her up on a lawsuit? Because I, know, I, did. I know I did. You did bring I, her up on a lawsuit, but I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't box with Viacom like that. They, I had already kind of got the warnings. Like, leave this alone. Like, leave this alone. Like, don't do that. But I'm like, nigga, y'all, y'all not, nobody is hearing me. I have a wife at home telling me to do this. Like, mm-hmm. my wife is like, sue them. Y'all are like, don't sue us. You work here. I'm sitting up here like, bro, what the? Yeah, so I end up doing the lawsuit because I didn't want to lose my wife. So I was like, uh, I did the lawsuit, but I couldn't even, I couldn't, I couldn't box with them. I ain't say that much money up. You know what I'm saying? I was I couldn't box with them forever. Like, it's like, you keep going, nigga. You ain't gonna be able to eat soon. Like, keep this money and just bail out. Just keep the rent, keep what you got left and get out of it. 
and just start so, over. So I know at some point, K. Michelle, she was deposed. There was a deposition that she did. Yeah. Was that yeah. was that in response to your lawsuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was well, like, and, a, and, and there was ahead. things in there. It was things in there that you know that like, like if I if I could have kept going, yeah, probably I would have probably came out a little different, but. The fact that every they 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 can pause this thing whenever they want to pause it, shoot it a couple more months out, like, but it's gonna cost me another fifty. It's gonna cost me another thirty. It's gonna cost me another. I'm like, I ain't about to keep spending these twenties, thirties, and fifties for this. Like this, it ain't even. It wasn't even that serious to me. I was like, I could just easily just go on the show, and people see my personality versus hers, and they know they know what's up. They like, it's just my girlfriend that's mad. Like it was simple as that. This is my, this is my uh, girlfriend that's. Like inferior, my ex girlfriend is infuriated that I'm getting married. That I just got married. Like that's simple as it really is. But it didn't look like that. It looked like you know something else. So it is what I had to take all those bullets, buddy. In, in, in that deposition, she pretty much admitted that you never put your hand on her. Exactly. Uh, I, but it's I, too I late because saw... the TV world. The TV world is like. The entertainment of what was said already is the entertainment forever of what was said. But the deposition, that's for my personal and my family and people know that actually look at stuff like that is like, dang, she lied on dude. Like, you was like, that's crazy. But what it already did to me is already done. Now I'm coming back from this place of, and people are really like stall out on you. Like people that was ca calling me yesterday ain't calling me today. Like, and then for her to say that it was, it was all TV now and it was lies now, they still kind of like now it's like a guilt thing. Like you, 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 you kind of turned your back on me at that time, and now you feel like they find out it was a lie. Be like, oh, we already, we already shitting on him. Like, oh, sorry, and you just mm -hmm. keep going. It is what it is. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm still the hustler. I always am. So I'm always working on something and working on different things and, and on my on my return and things like that. I hate that I'm even talking about a return because I do have dreams of if I had never done that, I'd probably be some top dog executive that you just be reading about in magazines by now, by now, you know, but that ain't what happened. I actually made a bad decision because that's why choices, boy, your choices and decisions, they're yours, but they are everything. Like they are everything. Like you cannot be in a place of power and then and just be loose with who you, who you give that power to sexually, because if you give, you are giving the power. Do you know who you just gave that power to? Well, you're about to find out. So it's like I, I I got a hard lesson on me now, and I feel like that lesson came for the things that I'm going to do, the things that I'm about to do, the things that I needed those lessons then. Get it over with now, because you're the type of dude that would make that kind of mistake, that crazy kind of decision. You are that guy that would do that. So let's get one. Let's get it over with now, because you got other bigger things on the horizon that, that's coming up and you got to do. And that thing is going to present itself to you again. Now, what are you going to do this time? And I, I I know what I'm gonna do. Like you, girl, get somebody else to do it. No, I'm good. I'm good. So, you know, I, I know you said that you have moved on with your life and you wish yeah. her the best. She's moved on. Yeah. Have you ever had a chance offline to either bump into her or on the phone and just have a heart to heart? Like, girl, do you, do you understand? I don't think she understands what you did to my life. No, I think we we talked one time. Uh, somebody called me. Uh, one of her uh, people that she deals with, one of her management called me, Tiffany. Uh, I forgot Tiffany's last name, but Tiffany called me and said, hey, somebody wants to talk to you. And she put her on the phone and I was like, hello? And she was like, this Kim. And I was like, oh, what up? And we was it was cool because I'm just a cool personality. Like you, even when people do stuff to me, I, I kind of ain't really that I, you know, that shit, I might have been mad then, but I ain't even mad no more. So I'm like, what up? She like, she like, you know, it wasn't supposed to go that far, right? And I was like, I know that. I was like, what, what do you mean? I, I know it was supposed to go that far. She's like, it was never supposed to go that far. She's like, it was supposed to be so one, two, three. It was supposed to be, I'm going to say this. You were supposed to come on the show. Uh, you were supposed to come on the show and dispute it. Bada bing, bada boom. They just wanted you on Love and Hip Hop. And this was a great way for you to get on there. And I was supposed to lure you in. And when you couldn't come, that's what they said. You and Toya come. And when I said, and she was like, your wife is the, your ex-wife is the reason. You know, at the time she's saying your wife is the reason. She's like, your wife, the reason that all this blew up. It's like her, she with her, like trying to sue people and all this. And she was like, she should have just let you come on there. It was, it was nothing going to happen. It would have been a totally different story. And I was like, bro, 
I'm so gone. I'm not even married no more. Like I'm like I I damn near lost my wife because of that. I lost my wife for that too. Like I like it's like it wasn't a clean. It wasn't like I just did something to lose my wife. There was like so much stress in our marriage from this what you did that I I'm not even married no more. So did you end up when did you get what you wanted in the end? I know how it started. Are you happy now? Like she's not there no more. She's gone. And she's like I ain't do it for all that and blah blah blah. And we just kind of like kind of made up on the phone. I haven't seen her since then, but I, I even like her pictures now. I'd be like, I'd be like, blessings to you. I told her the other day, I was like, I hope you're doing good. Like, I see you doing good. I hope you keep doing good. That's it. I don't want nothing else. That's all I'm telling. I'm sending you blessings. Boom, boom. Like that. You know, but yeah, also, I lost it. It wasn't just my job. I lost my job. I lost my wife. I lost my stuff. I lost my... Yeah, because people, you know, that TV is powerful, bro. So it's like, but you, I come, I come from, I come from coming from nothing. So it's like, it's really nothing to me. I built, I built a lot of things. I'm good. It's like, I didn't fall on the ground. You know, so it's like I'm like I'm I'm coming back with things that I want to do in life and still got things that I want to do. I'm still talking to big dogs that never left me. You know, they they knew it. They knew the whole time. I was like, you just made a mistake. Like we all do it, but you did it in the lights, nigga. Like I'm like, oh. so you know, it is what it is. So what's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.